we have to look up the product name, get the correct row, and return four different values. Then because there's three series discounts, we have to calculate net cost equivalent and then the final wholesale cost before we calculate the total for 500 at that cost. Now we want to see how to solve this with the new XLOOKUP function. And we want a challenge. Can we do it all in a single cell? Well, the first thing is we have to look up price. And we can use the new XLOOKUP function. Now there's a lookup value just like VLOOKUP or MATCH or INDEX. We're going to look up Bellin, comma. But look up array, you only highlight the range that has potential values to match. That will determine the row, comma. Then return array, I highlight the column that has the values I want to go and get and bring back to the cell. Now the default for XLOOKUP is exact match. The remaining arguments are not required. Not if found, that's what to put in the cell if XLOOKUP can't find a match. But we're going to leave all those arguments out, close parentheses, and enter. Now we want to look up all three discounts simultaneously and spill them down the column. Equals x lookup. We're still looking up Bellin, comma, within this range right here, comma. But for return array, if I want to return three values, then instead of a single column, I highlight all three columns that have one, two, three different values that I want to return. Now, when I close parentheses, because XLOOKUP is going to return a row, when I hit Enter, it spills to the right. If I need to spill them down, then I need to transpose this horizontal range into a vertical range. So in the cell, F2, after the equal sign, TR, Tab. And that, close parentheses, when I hit Enter, will spill them down. Now notice, when I hit Enter, up in the formula bar, the formula doesn't actually live in that cell. The grayed out version means these are the spilled values. When you need to edit, you have to go back up to the original cell, and there it is. Now the problem with this right here is these are series discounts that depend on the number of units. Now it just happens to be that all three discounts are used when you have 500 or more. If I change this to 75, that's totally incorrect. I need a 0 in the last two cells. Now to edit the formula, we click in the top cell. That's the cell where the spilled array lives, F2. And very carefully inside of transpose, XLOOKUP is delivering three values. But sometimes we want zeros instead of the actual values. So we use the IF function. And for the logical test, I'm going to ask quantity purchased, are you greater than or equal to these hurdles. Now, this range is exactly parallel to the range delivered by XLOOKUP. So when I comma, and let's go back to logical test, and let's hit the F9 key. It will deliver trues and falses that will pick out the correct values from XLOOKUP. Control Z, but for the falses, come to the end. We want to very carefully click after XLOOKUP, type a comma. And what do we want if it's false? We want a 0. Now I close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, now we get a spilled array that will correctly react to whatever the units are. 150, we definitely want those two. 500 or more, we want all three discounts. Now the formula for net cost equivalent, since 45 pennies is the amount of discount for $1, we need to take 1 minus 0.45 to give us how much we pay for every $1. We have to create all three complements and multiply them to get net cost equivalent. Now, that's the concept there. We take the complement of each, multiply them. But instead of doing that formula, since we're multiplying, we use the product function. And inside number one argument, I say 1 minus, And I simply highlight. And watch what happens when I highlight the values. C16 is where the formula lives. And the pound symbol says get all the spilled values also. Now we close parentheses, and inside, if we click and hit the F9 key, those are the three individual values we need to multiply to get net cost equivalent. Control Z, and when I hit Enter, I get the exact net cost equivalent. That's the number of pennies for every $1 that we have to pay. 
Now, to multiply the net cost equivalent, we have to use the round, because there are extraneous decimals, and we're dealing with money, times whatever the price is, comma, 2 to round to the penny, close parentheses. When I hit Enter, that's the actual cost we pay for each one of the boomerangs. So the final formula is wholesale cost times number of units and Enter. Now if I change this to 75, that is working. 150, still working. 500, we get our correct total of 5,370. Now bonus number one. If you don't have Office 365, we can still do it. We use VLOOKUP once, then one, two, three times. And instead of just entering the formula for net cost equivalent, we have to use Control-Shift-Enter. Now bonus formula number two. Now we did it cell by cell to see how all the calculations worked. But the actual single cell formula itself is easier than the multi-step. We still have to go and get the price, looking up Bell and within here, comma, returning something from there. But now we need to multiply it by the net cost equivalent, product, 1 minus. And we use XLOOKUP, Bell and we're trying to find the match here, and return three columns. But in this case, we don't have to transpose, because we don't care which direction this goes, because product is going to multiply it anyway. That, if I control enter, gives me the unrounded amount. We need to take into consideration the units. If the quantity is greater than or equal to those hurdles, comma, value if true, right there, comma, zero, close parentheses. Now that is still unrounded, so round, comma, two, close parentheses, and there's our 1074 multiplying the wholesale cost times units. And now when we 75, that is amazing. Control Z. Now we still have to use VLOOKUP, product, 1 minus IF, checking to see if we got the discount. But the actual value, if true, we need an IF is not XLOOKUP. We've always had the ability to look up a row using the index function. Array, those are all the potential values we want to go and get. For us, it's a whole row, comma, row number. Well, we use match to look up Bellin, comma, within here, comma, exact match 0, close parentheses. And the trick is we have the row number, but if we want all the columns to match with a particular row number, comma, then we either put a 0 or leave it omitted. And that tells index to get all of the columns for that particular row. Close parentheses. Now we comma 0 for the if, close parentheses, close parentheses. And that gives us the unrounded wholesale cost. Finishing it off, there it is. We multiply cost times units, and there we go. X lookup or the good old VLOOKUP and INDEX. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.